they shouldn't end this story. I would take it past, past this because they can. And they can always turn around and end it at any time if, they, if they've made a mistake. They can do that. back into Jay Uso, right? Who cut another great promo uh, Friday night. Paul Heyman tying in and, and really selling the story saying, hey, look, the reason why Jay is hurt right now, the reason why he or why Jimmy is hurt physically and yep. while you're feeling his injuries right now, it's all it's your you. fault. It's your fault. You bought into what Sami Zayn fed you. You bought into all that bull crap. You wanted to take over. You wanted to circumvent the, the, the hierarchy of things and you wanted to take over. It's your fault that Jimmy is laying up in a hospital right now and your your uncle and your aunt and your parents and your brothers and I myself, the Juso, uh, Paul Heyman calling himself <laughs> Juso on Friday night was, was hilarious, really sunk it in. And then Solo takes the microphone and Solo sells that in and says, I'm never going to forgive you for what you did to our brother when it was solo who whooped his ass right so like that <laughs> why why are you making me hit you you know like why are you the whole bully in the schoolyard why are you making why are you making me do this to you you look look what you're doing to yourself that's what that was and it really sunk in and then the brawl happened every week jay uso continues to deliver these incredible performances in dutch i see it on social media and i know it's the same way in the audience there is a growing fast growing portion of the fan base that wants to see Jay Uso be the guy to beat Roman Reigns for that WWE I'm sure. championship. I'm sure. And it's all in the family. Everybody can identify with family. And if he does replace Roman, where does that leave uh where does that leave Jimmy? Well Jimmy's out right indefinitely. I know but, but he'll be back. He'll be yeah. back. So I'm saying and that's another door that's open. Yeah. They have so many, they don't got to get down and think deeply now because Triple H is using patience and common sense and logic and not speeding the story along. Vince had a habit of working from pay-per-view to pay-per-view. Oh, let's do it here, do here, we'll blow it off with the pay-per-view. Then you got to start over. But with uh, the Uso and, and, and the family, the tribal uh, situation, that's a continuing, it's gone for three years, right? Yeah. And, and it's made sense the whole time. I, I love this story. I really do. I love what WWE has been able to do now with four of Roman Reigns' past opponents. Because mm -hmm. four times in the last year, right? You've had the fans start saying literally the same thing. Oh, they got it. They got to have Drew, Drew's got to be the guy. Drew McIntyre has to be the guy. Main event clash at the castle in front of his home country. He's got to be the guy to beat him. Doesn't. Oh, man, they screwed up. They should have pulled the trigger. It should have been Drew. <laughs> Elimination Chamber, uh, Montreal, Sami Zayn, heroic. Oh, uh, yeah. He's it, right got to do it. Loves him. They got to put the title. They got to pull the trigger. Forget what you're doing with Cody Rhodes right now. You got to pull the trigger. You got to make that all time moment. I know it because I said it myself. Got to have Sami Zayn be the guy who beats Roman Reigns. He doesn't. Oh, they really messed up. They should have put it on Sami. WrestleMania rolls around. Here's Cody Rhodes again, right? Yep. Oh, this is it. You got to finish the story. Sammy, Cody Rhodes is the guy. Roman Reigns has had the title for 900 and some odd days at this point. It's the perfect time. The main event of WrestleMania, Dusty Sun looking down as he's about to win the title. Oh, crap. Roman Reigns won again. Man, they yep. messed that up. That was a terrible decision. They've ruined Cody now. What's he doing? He's wrestling Dominic Mysterio at Money in the Bank. And here we are, Dutch, again, rolling sentiment on, and Jimmy, Jey Uso's the guy. The story's right there. Everything's perfect. Jey Uso's the guy. He's got to be the guy that beats Roman Reigns. The, he, he needs to be the guy. This is the perfect ending to this story. Well, they don't, to me, they don't want it. They shouldn't end this story. I would take it past, past this because they can. And they can always turn around and end it at any time if, they, if they've made a mistake. They can do that. Do you but think don't, they are, go, ahead, go ahead. Yeah, don't cut it short unless you just have to. Why? And I and I am a big proponent of not of taking it almost too long and doing screwy finishes. 
because the fans get pissed at you then. But if the guy just loses straight up, which is basically what it, what Roman has done, the guy that beats Roman is going to be over, big time. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah. I was going to ask you something else. I forgot what I was going to ask you now. But go but, ahead. But but here's the thing: how how strongly do you think? Because they have been unwavering. Like I said, Drew, Sammy. Cody, it did not matter the momentum. It did not matter the story. It did not matter what the the audience said. At least not much, not enough for them to alter their plans. They have not, and probably will not alter the Roman Reigns. But do you think they are considering, at, at least at all, Jay Uso winning the title at SummerSlam? Oh, well, they may be considering it, but I don't know. And you don't know, and the fans don't know. Right. That's the beauty of wrestling. We're all guessing. But I'm saying, unless you just have to do it, because you got another brother out there, too, yep. that's, that's going to be tied into this. Yeah, and the right. other brother could, I, I, I guarantee you, if he goes head up against Roman at SummerSlam, the other brother's going to be involved, and something's going to happen. Look, Jey Uso is But it may... And it may not be, you know, what the fans want to happen. Well, yeah. I mean, absolutely. We'll, we'll maybe, see. Maybe Jimmy buys into the fact that Jay's the reason why he was lost. He was. See, there you the go. Um, and but, he may but, be the one to screw his own brother. Potentially. Could be. And they said he's out indefinitely. Now indefinitely leaves it open, right? But Summer yes, Slam, yes. Weeks, Summer, Summer Slam is three weeks away. So we'll see if, if Jimmy gets into the equation. If Jimmy doesn't get into the equation. Jay is severely outnumbered. That means he has to go through Paul Heyman. That means he has to go through his other brother in Solo, and he has to go through Roman Reigns. And those numbers games always work in what, Roman's favor. Yeah, what what are they doing next week? Well, they are. Are, are, doing, they, are they elders coming in? No, not the elders. But they, it's uh, what did they say it was? It was like uh, they're they're going to go over the the terms of engagement, the terms of engagement between Jay Uso and Roman Reigns. So basically, that's their fancy way of saying. We're going to figure out how we're going to book yeah. this match at SummerSlam. So next week they will book the title match for SummerSlam. I'm sure. Okay, some listen kind of to the words. On it. Listen to the words. The terms of engagement. Now the first thing I did, I went, "Hmm, what the hell is that?" So I'm going to watch it next week just to see what they do, <clears throat> and I hope it's they have a hell of an idea for it. But if you told me t terms of endearment, I kind of understand it. But what are they going to lay out there? And I'm interested to see what they do. Uh, if I had to make an educated guess, I would assume it's going to be something along the lines of, you want a shot at me? Fine. You win. You're the tribal chief. You're the WWE Universal Champion. You get all of it. If you lose, you are my boy moving forward. You are back in the bloodline. You are my right-hand man, but you get none of the respect, and you do what I say. I say jump. You say how high. Well, it's according to how they do this interview. If, if the Uso brother, he lays it out, he said, I, I want you, but I want you to put something up, blah, because you didn't get all this by yourself. Yeah. We helped you. We all helped you. And if he can talk him into putting that title up, and, and then uh, Roman's got to say, well, you do this. He don't want to, and then he said, well, you're afraid to. You're scared. But anyway, something like, like that. If they did it right, and those writers are talented enough to do it, I think I think you got a winner. Where is SummerSlam? Detroit. Okay. Warfield. Right. I think I, I think they got a bright future for WWE going forward. Endeavor made a wise choice in taking that company over and we'll we'll see where it leads.